After almost 40 years of entertaining fans, Sting is finally hanging up his boots on his own terms. The long-tenured star isn't afraid to talk about how his career could easily have ended in tragedy, like so many of his peers. Sting will get into the ring one last time on March 3, 2024, when he teams with Darby Allin to defend the AEW Tag Team Championships against the Young Bucks at the Revolution pay-per-view. Got what I wanted, Tata, for now. The icon has wrestled just about everywhere – the Continental Wrestling Association, UWF, Mid-South Wrestling, NWA, WCW, All Japan, New Japan, TNA. He even had a cup of coffee in WWE, which famously didn't end well. Sting's legacy is firmly in place. How has he hung on so long to still be wrestling in his 60s? For one, he's been smart about what he allows himself to do, especially in this last run. The star told D Magazine, it's like a potluck, picking and choosing on a daily basis what I'm able to do. I have all the original body parts." That's right, even at 64, Sting hasn't had anything replaced. But even with that, wrapping up his legendary career in 2024 was not his original intention. He said, referring to wrestlers who keep performing beyond their prime, "...I swore to myself, I'm never going to be one of those guys, and I'm one of those guys ten times over." In large part, Sting's longevity can be chalked up to knowing when to clean up his act, something lots of other wrestlers from his era struggle to do. He told The Ringer, "...I stopped doing steroids in 1990. A lot of the guys just couldn't stop. They've all got new knees, new hips, shoulders reversed. I still have the same original body parts, thank God." The added body mass steroids pack on quite simply isn't sustainable for athletes in the long haul. As Sting implied, it leads to joint problems and other mobility issues. After witnessing these changes happen to some of his friends and peers, Sting took note and changed his ways. Now he's retiring at age 64. He also told The Ringer, "...I was addicted to painkillers and drinking and steroids and drugs and a lifestyle for so many years. The human body can only take so much. A lot of the guys, especially in my era, they couldn't stop. I was on my way to being one of them. So I attribute the longevity to cleaning out the drugs and the alcohol, the overall lifestyle." That life change was vital for Sting, but the star says finding his faith in 1998 made an even bigger difference. I just found that every part of my life was out of control." He told The Ringer, "...my life changed drastically in August of 1998 when I gave myself and my life to Jesus Christ. I attribute really most of anything good to that, and my longevity is one of the things that's good." Sting didn't take his journey to faith on his own. He also inspired others to live similarly. In an October 2023 interview on the Under the Ring podcast, Lex Luger, Sting's sometimes partner and sometimes rival in WCW, credited Sting with being loyal to him and helping him through his darkest times. We're both followers of Jesus now, and that makes it extra special for us as well. He never gave up on me even at my, during the worst times of my life." Luger said he and Sting are still best friends to this day. Sting has also never given up on himself. In his final match with WWE at Night of Champions in 2015, he injured his neck after taking a buckle bomb from Seth Rollins. It took nearly six years for Sting to return to action, wrestling again in AEW in 2021. With the end of his career now in sight, Sting told Sports Illustrated that he's surprised by what he's been capable of these past few years, and he credits AEW President Tony Khan for coaxing him out of retirement. If you or anyone you know needs help with addiction issues, help is available. Visit the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration website or contact SAMHSA's National Helpline at 1-800-662-HELP. That's 1-800-662-4357.